Save or splurge? My name is Angelica aka Angie B and in this video I'm going to share with you what hair products are worth splurging on and which ones are worth saving on because both are important if you want to get the best out of your hair product but also protect your pocket. The first is something I personally use a lot but I know a lot of people don't use this that much. This is carrier oils. These are any oils that you usually put on the lengths of your hair, on the ends of your hair and also the oils that you use to carry essential oils. So these are oils like all olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, macadamia nut oil, grapeseed oil, the list goes on and on and usually you usually buy them in bulk. Save or splurge? I would say save only because some companies would try to make it seem like these are so much more fancy especially if you're using it in your hair it's not like you need any extra nutty organic flavor or something like that as long as the oil is 100 percent pure and probably cold pressed if it can be cold pressed just go for the cheapest option in that realm of course as long as you trust the source because some people could lie if it just says for example olive oil on the front but it has no information at the back under ingredients of course don't trust that all you have to do is look at the ingredients list and the ingredients should only be that specific one and it should be unrefined or unprocessed or you know sometimes they make these oils smell a little bit better for cooking so you just want something that is plain please save and get the cheapest option it's usually basically the same thing for essential oils, I would say splurge, and this is because technically they are more expensive than carrier oils, but if you go about it by the way you would use it, essential oil would actually turn out to be cheaper because you use less of the product. It's just that sometimes it's a little difficult to find a good source, so I would say splurge. Get yourself a little bit of a bigger bottle because they're usually sold in about 30 mil or even 15 mil containers. Get yourself like a hundred mil of an essential oil that you know you'd use a lot like peppermint oil or rosemary oil. Go ahead and get that bigger size. So splurge on that, but it will last you probably 10 times more than your carrier oil. So it's like a save and a splurge because initially it's expensive, but it will last you a really long time. Next we have conditioner save or splurge i would say save or splurge depending on how you use it for me i would say save and that's simply because i use deep conditioner or hair masks more than regular conditioners so a regular conditioner is more like a detangling agent something i would i would use if i'm a little bit lazy to do my wash day so i don't feel the need to really splurge on it i think you can absolutely save on your conditioner if you are going to be using a deep conditioner which leads me to the next one deep conditioner save or splurge i say splurge I find deep conditioners to be like serums in your skincare routine. So if you need like a moisturizer for your skin, you don't really need something that fancy. You just need a serum to do its job really, really well. If you're looking to brighten any dark spots, if you're tackling anything like texture, you're going to look for something like an AHA, BHA, niacinamide and vitamin C to even your skin tone. You don't really care that much to have niacinamide and vitamin C in your moisturizer. That's the same way I look at it. The deep conditioner stage is kind of like your serum stage. So this is when you want to go for something that will really tackle whatever issue you have, whether that is dryness, maintaining your color, if it's dealing with breakage, if you need some bond building or protein, anything like that, that is the deep conditioning stage. So I would say in that one, it is extremely important to splurge if you can. There are absolutely many affordable deep conditioners out there, but if you're looking for somewhere to save and somewhere to splurge, I would say splurge on your deep conditioner. I actually have quite a few videos where I recommend some of my favorite products. So I'll link those at the end of this video so you can see what specific products I use. But for right now, I'm specifically talking about saving or splurging. So it doesn't matter what hair texture or hair type that you have, these tips will still work as long as you know what you're looking for. Okay, this next one may shock you with my response. And this is shampoo. Save or splurge? What do you think? If you asked me this a couple months ago or a year ago, I would have said save. But now I say splurge. And this is because professional shampoos just work better. And splurging actually helps you save because you use less of the product, it is more effective and you don't have to use other products to compensate for your shampoo not working as well as you expect it to. And with professional shampoos and 
non-professional shampoos or drugstore shampoos, the suds are not necessarily an indication of if it works really well or not. If a professional shampoo really suds up and lathers and makes your hair feel like like a bubble bath, like extra clean, then you can trust that your hair is extra clean. But with certain drugstore shampoos, not all of them, but a few of them, they may have a little bit more extra foaming agents that make it seem like your hair is cleaner than it is because it's foaming up, but your hair actually is still not clean enough. Or the suds are real, but definitely too strong, and they strip your hair and make it dry. So for me, I have just found that I have used a lot of drugstore products like Shea Moisture, Aussie, um, what's the other one, Maui Moisture, and they did work really well. But when I compare them to my professional shampoos, they just work so much better. And so if you're about to run out of shampoo or you're looking for a shampoo, I highly suggest investing in a professional shampoo. It's honestly not that much more than a drugstore shampoo and it will last you longer and work even better. So please consider splurging. The next one is leave-in conditioner. And I think this one has one of the best options because depending on your hair type, I think you can either save or splurge. For example, right now I am saving and it's not because I wanted the cheaper option. It just turns out that my favorite leave-in conditioner actually happens to be very affordable. Now, if you are finding that you're not really finding something that really works for you and makes your hair feel extremely moisturized and healthy, you may want to look into a professional product that's a little bit more expensive that may do the job a little bit better. But for me, I actually have a cheap option and an expensive option, and I love both of them because they do separate things. One is the African Pride Leave-In Cream and the other one is the Olaplex Bond Smoother. So they're similar, but they don't really do the same thing because the Bond Smoother is more like a styling cream almost. And the Leave-In Cream is just more of a leave-in product slash styling cream. They're very similar and very different at the same time. So I'd say they do different things, but all you have to do is find the one that works best for you and then stick to it. And if you're wondering, well, how will I actually know if it works best for me? It's going to make your hair feel really soft or it's going to make your hair stay feeling really soft after your conditioner. It's going to make your hair shaft feel smoother than it usually does when it's not feeling its best. And it will just make your hair feel healthy overall. So here, I can't tell you anything specific. You just need to test it out for yourself. I think this one has quite a wide array of products out there. Just find one that works and then stick to it. Okay, the next one is heat tools. So heat tools, I'm covering everything that applies direct heat, which could be a hair dryer, a hair straightener, hair curlers would depend because if you're going straight from a dryer to a curler, you may want to look at it different. But if you go blow dry silk press or blow dry flat iron and then whatever curling tool, you can kind of separate that on its own. Here, when I talk about heat tools, I'm specifically speaking about flat irons and blow dryers because those are the most commonly used and widely used tools that we can use to do whatever we want to our hair. I would say splurge, and this is something I invested in. I think it's about three years ago now. You will see an absolute difference. Professional hair tools make a huge difference, of course, combined with the technique. And over a long period of time, they sustain their quality for a long time. You don't need to constantly upgrade. And they just do an amazing job compared to anything else. I highly suggest professional tools. I know that drugstore tools or anything that you can just get from Amazon would probably do the job well enough. But it's actually a major difference. So when I used to blow dry my hair, I had had my hair blow dried in a few hair salons and I used to blow dry it myself and I used a bunch of different drugstore hair dryers and they would straighten my hair straight enough but I was I would always have this chronic dryness and roughness feeling in my hair after the blow dry and it would still never get it as straight as I'd like and then also afterwards my hair would just stay sort of dry. I really can't describe it, but it would be very almost wiry. And ever since I invested in my GHD professional blow dryer, my hair would come out amazing. It would feel so much softer, especially when I want to do a silk press and I want to get it as straight as possible. It really does the job and it has worked on so many different hairstyles 
so many different hair types. I've worked, I've used it on myself, I've used it on my sisters, I've used it on wigs, I've used it on my mom, and those are all completely different hair textures. And it works well across the board with amazing results. Same goes for the flat iron. When you're investing in the tool, of course, look for the tool that's going to work best for what you're looking for. If you're a beginner, you may want to avoid like a titanium flat iron simply because while they usually do work best, they do distribute heat not as evenly as ceramic, which means there's a higher chance for heat damage. So you might want to try with something else that's like ceramic and then upgrade to titanium later on. But that's besides the point because here we're just talking about saving or splurging. I highly suggest you splurge. I have had my tools now for about, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's over three years and they are in mint condition. And the only reason I would want to upgrade is because I'm bored or I want something different. And if I was to purchase new tools, they would still be professional quality because it just makes a massive difference. Okay, the next category is treatments, and I decided to separate this by itself because I think it's similar to the deep conditioning stage, but right now there are so many products that I believe it deserves its own little section. And this is hair treatments. There are so many out there right now from Olaplex to K18, Kerastase. There are many products out there that are coming out, whether they are bond building most of the treatment stages are in the bond building kind of thing because that's usually where we experience the most damage like if you straighten your hair a lot you may have broken down your disul your disulfide bonds or if you relax your hair anything like that that you need to truly strengthen your hair i am seeing a lot of drugstore products that are just throwing in the word bond building in there or protein in there to make it sound a little bit more i don't know beneficial here, I would absolutely say splurge because these professional brands know what they are doing. I just suggest you find the one that works for you and your specific problem. Your products can skyrocket to like over $100 very easily. So if you do not need that product, do not purchase it. For example, if you are natural, you barely use heat, you don't color your hair, your hair is in perfect condition at most times and all you want is a treatment to kind of maintain that hair, I would say maybe you want to go for something like an Olaplex or something like even Amika has this, what is it called? It's called The Cure. There's a Cure collection and they have a bunch of different products in that. You're looking around the $30, $35 max. If you are relaxed, if you have dyed hair, if you have bleached hair, if you straighten your hair all the time, you have made the decision that you will break a lot of the hair bonds in your hair. If you want to maintain that and are looking for products that would truly make a difference, you may want to look into the higher end, like $75 kind of category, like K18, and it will make a major difference. It's just an investment, but it's worth it because when you use those, you won't have to try and find so many different deep conditioners that will help do the same thing, or oils and all these other treatments, because you have that one product that will do amazing things if you want more videos like this let me know in the comment section below hit my face right there to subscribe watch this video right here if you'd like to see anything else thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye